Dzień dobry. Bonjour de la part d'un Français à l'école de Théasco 2012. Hello from Hasco 2012. Un saludo de los estudiantes españoles en HASCO is an acronym that stands for Hadron Collider Physics. So in this uh, Hadron Collider Physics summer school, we uh, teach students the basics and also a few ingredients of Hadron Collider Physics, so mostly proton-proton collider physics, as it's presently done at CERN in Geneva with a large Hadron Collider. And this summer school basically integrates everything. So enthusiastic students and lecturers come together from various countries to discuss not only uh, when it comes to the uh, to the physics, but also moreover to have team building and also internationalization at home. So the students are being exposed to lecturers coming from abroad, students coming from abroad. Uh, so, so this is a very lively thing, such a summer school, and um, this basically also leads to to long-standing friendships and connections, uh, and that is what we want. So we want to have internationalization from education to research and that is what is being brought together here and uh, I'm very thankful to the organizers that this came into place here. One of the most important things of summer schools besides the lectures is also that students know each other because there's a high chance that in the future they're going to be working with each other with these big collaborations. And it's important as well that there's a connection with CERN because CERN at the moment is the place in Europe where one wants to be in order to do particle physics. We want to, in order to make sure that we can distinguish the signal. It's uh, very nice to have like this uh, basic of talking about particle physics, which is uh, of course uh, at the first place a very nice. Um, common uh, topic we could talk about, but it's uh, then also just talking about social stuff, how life is in their countries, how life is in our countries, and our country, and yeah, so there are plenty of topics and plenty of uh, connections between the students. Uh, it is quite hard to uh, teach something to uh, every kind of student because we are some from the bachelor, some from the masters and some from the PhD and uh, everybody is actually learning something. For lecturers it's a bit difficult because you also have to try to accommodate to everybody. <laughs> seen it's a it's a cozy little student town uh, seems to be very lively seems there seems to be a lot going on for a for a, for a city of this size uh, you can sort of uh, you get the feeling that it's there's a lot of students here and, and there's a quite a young and it's a quite a young uh, lively town pretty nice I really enjoy all the lectures the professor are all really prepared and also their organization is perfect um, I'm, I'm really happy and I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> um, we, we're going to, we're planning to go on the mountain. I don't remember the name. <laughs> I was called for. Um, supervising uh, students mainly for their seminars uh, so I had uh, four students and uh, we went through the, the, the papers basically to prepare the, their presentation and the seminars but I, I should say that they were really good in the preparation and they uh, surprised me in the quality of the 
slides that they were able to prepare and also in the depth because they didn't just uh, studied or read just the paper they wanted to know a little bit more and they were looking around for references and so on so I was really very very pleased and uh, it's a very good experience and I think uh, doing things like this is good because I'd previously not had the chance to study alongside you know Swedish people and Italians and Spanish so it's nice to get everyone in one place